Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kevin, I am a geek, you are watching Kevin the Geek and it is time for another Throwback Tuesday video. This is a video that has been suggested by one of my long-term subscribers, so thank you very much to you Katsukira. I apologise if I pronounce your name incorrectly there, um, but uh, she is someone who has been uh, looking at a lot of my videos and commenting on a lot of videos, so thank you so much for all of your likes, all your comments, I really, really appreciate it. Uh, I did check out some of your stuff, and I love your cosplay stuff, in particular the one which was Meryl, which I think was from Tower of Fancy, if I remember correctly. Really good effort you went to there with that. But uh, she has made a suggestion today to look at a TV show that, in all honesty, I have actually seen when I was a kid. So we're talking probably a good 20 or so years ago. I don't even really remember anything about it other than the fact that Craig Charles, um, well, I mean, he didn't really host it. I think he sort of did narration for the show after it had sort of aired in Japan. Uh, but we're, of course, talking about Takeshi's Castle. And the reason I kind of remember it is, from my memory, I believe that there was always... Uh, it was almost like a triple header for Craig Charles stuff. So you'd have an episode of Red Dwarf, followed by an episode of Robot Wars, which he presented, followed by an episode of this, Takeshi's Castle. I literally don't remember anything about it. And so this is going to be a nice throwback. It'll be something I can kind of react to and hopefully enjoy, but also think back to, you know, the kind of feelings that I was when I was a kid, when I did kind of watch it back then. But if you are new to the channel, please make sure you like the video, you subscribe to the channel, and you turn on the notifications. But let's get looking at... Takeshi's Castle. Okay, time to see what is going on in Takeshi's Castle. Again, thank you Katsukira for your recommendation on this one. Let's get started in three, two, one. My name's Craig Charles. Welcome to our guide to losing your ribs, your fashion sense, your marbles, and your dignity. We're slipping discs and we're wiping out Japanese style. Coming up on this show, we've got Knock Knock. <laughs> we've got Skipping Stones. We've got Takeshi's version of baseball. Oh, you can have him, you can hold him, you can whack him, you can scratch him, and you can shoot him. Oh, it's Takeshi's castle. Now, I'm interested whether all these tile sequences and everything these are from the original show. Let me know in the comments below. General Lee's in a great mood and so are his contestants. There's a hundred of them to start with and they'll need their good mood as they're about to get sprayed, splayed, squashed and boshed in their attempt to overcome the obstacles set by Count Takeshi and finally Ooh. face the castle in a final showdown. <laughs> Call the ambulance, they're off. Our first game is Knock Knock. Knock Knock. 100 contestants ready to play Knock Knock. Only two of the doors are real, the rest of them are boarded up. They've got to find the doors without dislocating their shoulders. All the way through to the white pit of powder at the end, but they get a coloured ball. If they get a coloured ball, they will come to the next round. Oh, he charged oh, through that. Speed. Oh, she did. Oh, he bounces into the net. Oh, oh the chap there at the top, setting an early lead. The trick is to find this next door, though. Oh, the blue man bounces off. And the chap at the bottom of the screen goes right the way through into the swamp. Snakes and frogs and everything in that swamp, believe me. Oh. oh! Over the soggy mattress. Oh, into the fish net. Oh! Yellow man through there. Oh! 
Always oh, in the puddles. In this game. Oh, he got yeah, oh. Right door there. What's he oh. doing? <laughs> Loses the lead. Oh, more nets. Not easy this now. Oh, they're through to the white powder bath. Get themselves a colour ball. They're through to the next round. Ah. What's he doing in a suit? I was just thinking that. It's like he only came to deliver the mail or something. It's a real quagmire out there. He's just wearing his pants. Of play if you like to stay clean. The animal <laughs> guards pushing everyone back in. Look at them stragglers. They haven't even got through the first door yet. That is absolutely pathetic. I say, shove them in the mud. She got a ball there, it was just craftily lying on the top of the surface. I don't know if any of you guys have played um, this video game, a uh, very, very popular one uh, called Fall Guys. Um, my, my initial thought watching that, uh, that, that game there, um, I wouldn't be surprised if that um game took inspiration from this um and obviously the clips i saw right at the very start of you know, some of the games that we've been playing um because a, a lot of them seem like that and if you've never played full game uh, four guys it's basically uh, a game where there's about 60 players or so uh, an online thing where you're basically a, a, a walking jelly bean effectively um and you normally have to get to the end you have to do them number of tasks and then you get a crown at the end of it if you win the the whole whole thing and it feels at least from that game that that could have definitely taken inspiration from Takeshi's Castle because there's a game in that that is pretty much identical to that one the you have to again is this. Get the doors. look at the state of it it makes Graston Belly look like Grindborn mm. we're so excited for skipping all the way to skipping stones Stop. skipping stones this one's the shin smasher Okay, 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 so oh, 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 down he goes. Did a good job of that, actually. The trick is to get so, some speed and oh. accuracy. Ooh. It so if you touch the water, he's you're out. He's on for dear life, now he's gone. There she goes. You have to get... Light and nimble, light and nimble. Like yes, 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 well. yes, yes, oh! She's done it. She, she out? gave up right at the end. She's gonna pull oh. her. Oh, 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 oh! New ribs, please. I think he needs new balls. Spare ribs on the menu. Oh, 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 oh! Gonna be not light and nimble. And up, 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 Yes! Elegance all the way through. Can't play with oh, being happy. It's Oh, 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 like someone's been oh, sick along oh, the oh, nearly. <laughs> Come on. Oh, the hop speed. Hop to, hop to. Oh. oh. He smashes face first into the rocks. Oh, unlucky, son. You need the momentum. Move and that's the problem. Oh. Ow. He shouldn't have jumped. Oh. He's fallen over before he's even made it. Go on, you gotta do it. Do it for Japan. Grounds, open up and swallow him. So it did. Nah. Up, up, doing up, well, up, doing oh, well. oh, 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 yes. I'd rather look at Nimble. the losers. Look at this one. He just recovered that. You can tell his shins were hurting though. Going into the water was a blessed relief. There's the so how many, clappy, oh, jappy, chappy how many moving actually in start? for the next round. The Dragon Lake. Yeah, how many start before yeah. you know they get whittled down? This one very difficult. Strength, accuracy, and and a touch of good fortune needed to get through here. Oh, Oh, he did very well. Oh. He couldn't nail the landing, though. Head first into the mud. To face the grip you need for this. Because the idea is to stay oh. on the road and land on the platform. Too low, too low. 
If you can land on the platform oh! you the next round, she just created to the wall. New ribs, please. Momentum. He oh, he's going back. No, he's going to get it. He is he's going to get that. Damn it. Ooh, he's sore now as well, though. Come on, He's going to get it. I just, I'm calling it now. Ooh. Oh. He's nailed that. Yes. Never seen that before. No fumbling about. No messing. Pure professionalism. Hi, hi, hi. Oh, oh, oh. very nearly copied it. Here we go. Will she be able to she's gonna fail. Rope. Never mind, nail the landing. Yes, yeah, she's doing well. She's doing oh. very well. Excellent. No. Oh, missed it. Missed the platform completely. Yeah, no, Found the water, though. It. Looks like the smaller ones are having a bit of a harder time in this one. Smell the fear. Peace. Is that kids? Oh no. Literally in the face, I thought it was a kid. She's not looking very confident here. I don't think she wants to play. She's gonna get pushed off, I reckon. I can't see this doing I can't see this going very oh. far. Oh. 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 Oh, so close. So very nearly. I said the smaller ones because they've got the little legs. It's harder to get sure, up onto sure. the thing. If the you don't quite have the right around, that might angle. Be a good technique, actually. He it. No, he didn't. Slipped off the ledge. Good try, though. Yeah. Oh, spinning, spinning. Oh, that's good. Oh, that would have hurt. I want to see something bad. Look at this one. Talk about missing the target. Yeah. Missing the point. And Boy. This is the For the Emerald Guards, it's off to the next challenge. It's off to the mudslide. Mudslide. This is a new is one. Is it literally how it sounds? Oh, baseball this is the baseball difference. one. Oh, dear, 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 dear. Oh. You're out, mate. Of course, one of them whacks the ball. The other one's just got to run to the base. Sounds easy. Oh! It ain't that easy, though. Well, you're through, Safe! Boy. Safe! A lot of them are going to need a shower after this. Oh, she's trying to steal third. Oh, come on, you can do it. Get up, get up. Oh no. Oh, 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 oh. He teased her there, didn't he? <laughs> She's gone. <laughs> of course, the hitter. Ready. Ready. <laughs> Go. What? Oh, <laughs> Looked like she nearly made it, but she's gone. And so is the referee. <laughs> He's thigh deep. It's like quicksand out there. It is really, really bad when you get stuck in mud. <laughs> I had an instant um, a, a, a couple of a couple of years ago um, during COVID times. I went out for a walk with a friend of mine and. Uh, I was wearing big Wellington boots and I literally got stuck in the mud. Uh, if I can find it, I'll, I'll add it to the video later on. Go, go, go! <laughs> oh, is she oh no, she just nearly. came up a bit short. The mud there really is deep. <laughs> The retaliation in first. <laughs> and go. And he's off. Will he make it? Oh yes. Oh, is he in? Or is he through? Of course, baseball is a very popular game in Japan. Although if you look at the stands, not very popular this afternoon. Well, I'm sure this mud nice. will catch on. That was definitely in. 
he's through. And I'm not happy. Oh! Having a go at the referee and ending in the mud himself. <laughs> Big lump. <laughs> Looks like the referee's going for an early mud bath. And boing! <laughs> Are all the games... Um, uh, are they the same every single week, or do they kind of vary, vary them up a little bit? I think he means oink, oink. The bit I want to see again has got to be this. <laughs> Animal throwing all his toys out of the pram and attacking the judge. Coming up in part two, we've got the old favourite, Wipeout. We've got bridge ball. This is a good one. That is one I think I would struggle with. I don't bit. have a good sense of balance. I'm constantly falling over and hurting myself and injuring myself. Welcome back to part two of Takeshi's Castle. It's the sumo rings. Okay. Contestants stick their fists in, grab a ball, and get battered around the ring. So, oh, so does the ball determine who you're going up against? Like I presume. Oh, challenger there. Oh, wasn't a challenge. He's come all this way for that. Off you go to the happy farm, you plonker. He's got a red ball there. Is that red? It looks like a pink one to me. Grown men in nappies. Oh, he's trying to get his nappy off, it looks like. Ooh. Oh! Oh! It looked like the red one's leg went out first. <laughs> green? It's a green ball. Me <laughs> thinks that's Is it going to be the biggest one? No! No, change of personnel. It's Blondie. He bends the knees, the knees. <laughs> oh! Oh! Wow! Very vicious. Straight down! Pink ball. Yeah, that's all those pink ball. Oh. Ritual out of the way. Oh. It's down to fight and our contestants get oh. right stuck oh. in. Have it. Come and have a go if you think you're hard enough. The replay's got to be this. Blondie just throw yeah. it into the ground. Boom. Right, can anyone tell me um, a little bit about sumo wrestling? Um, for me, it feels it's a very stereotypical image when a lot of people from Western countries who are, for lack of a better word, probably a little bit ignorant to the cultures of Japan, um, but it's an image that immediately springs to mind if, if you say Japan to... I mean, especially in England, I think a lot of people, that is what one of the things that they really associate with Japan. Uh, but tell me a little bit more about sumo wrestling. Is it like it's a traditional thing that's dated back centuries? You know, is, is it... You know, just give me a little bit of background on it, because I'd like to learn new things about different cultures. There's the rest of our contestants through. It's Wipeout. Wipeout! Yeah. One of my favourite games, this. A game of balance, a game of subtlety, a game of strength. OK. On to the surfboard. Try and keep your right. feet up on the pink whale. Oh! So I presume you've got to get the all the way around in this the one. board on her way down. Won't be happy with that. Oh! Oh! Get up and over the whale. Oh, nice! Pulls its head down there. Onto the ledge. He's got to hurry across this ledge now because the surfboard right. waits for no man. So oh! You're gone. Damn. Come on, mate. You can do it. You can do it. If you're being cured. Oh. oh! You're a disgrace. Go home. You can do it. Come on. Onto the board. Keep your right. balance. There we go. Oh, we got it. Oh, and up. You can do it. And oh, it's down. Well, all ended in tears. 
Oh, 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 steady. Up, yes. Onto the ledge now. On the ledge. Across the surface of the ledge. And up. That's right, come on. You can do it. Oh, he's bouncing. Oh, good technique. Oh, oh. And he's made it. Oh, yes. I thought he lost it for a second. You've seen how it's done now. There's no excuse. Well, up. Maybe. God damn it. Hello. On you go. Oh, you got it. Got it. And... Oh, oh she's, she's there. In disgrace, but she's hanging on at the moment. Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Oh, it can also end in plaster. <laughs> she didn't even land it. Here we go. Oh, stays on over the whale. It's Good a very job. wobbly one, isn't it? Oh, it really long, no wobbles. You got to bend your knees as you land to, to kind of keep Put yourself. Now the whale's coming. Oh, oh, yes, a major yes. recovery there. Yes, yes, recovery. Oh. oh, now major surgery. Off again. So they're doing more jumps yeah, as opposed to just stepping oh, onto it. Oh. That's why I think a lot of them are, are failing. Sainsbury should come out as a tin of oh. beans. Into the water she goes. Spoke too soon. Oh. You've got it. You've got it. You've got it. Hold on. Doing all right so far. Great there we go. We passed Hiawatha. Oh. I don't know why she's there. Yes. 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 Excellent yes. Nicely the done. The bit I want to see again is this. Solar plexus. Lethal. 36 through to bridge ball. One of my favourite games, this. The bridge makes them all look like they're coming up back home from the pub on a Saturday night. Yes, he has to catch the golden ball and then avoid being knocked off by these okay, terribly accurate cannons. Okay, catch the golden balls and then get across. These Sounds balls simple enough. Hard, the lever, and they're travelling at tremendous speeds. Ooh. Oh! Right on the head! Bye -bye. I think you just need one. Concuss the thing is, you need to be looking towards the balls, realistically. So you've got the view. Because he had his back to him. Oh, 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 she nearly fell with the first one. Of this. She's got the golden snitch. <laughs> oh. 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 Took one there. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. In the stomach. No. She's on, though. But she lost the ball. Has she got the strength to pull herself back up? But she hasn't got the ball. I don't think so. She's trying to swing her legs. She's not giving up easily. Go on, you can do it. Doesn't seem to have Come on. to pull herself up though. Come on. No. It's been brave. No. Good effort. But it's not successful. She seems very tentative on this. She's in for the fright of her life when the first ball smashes into her. Do you think she'll be able to catch the old one even? She catches that easily. Yes, yeah, so, so, oh, oh, and she takes the first oh. ball right in the chest. Is that one before? Obviously, she dropped the go the golden ball. If she had managed to get back up, would she have? You know, what would have happened if she got to the end, but she didn't have the ball? He comes down. He's going to come down hard. Oh, that's it. Spread yourself wide. Yes, yes. Not the ball's way. Yes, that's good. Punching his ball. Oh. He gets one in the belly, though. And he goes down. Only problem with his technique, he could have got one right down there. Pies at him. Oh, he's an older guy. He's got experience. Balance or not? With the accuracy of these cannons, maybe the headgear won't stay for that long. He's very tentative. If you've seen this game before, you'll know he doesn't want to be standing there, legs akimbo like that. Yeah, see, I just said that. Oh, oh, he's gonna, yeah, he's on the ass. Oh, oh, 
He's taking it. Banging up his backside. Come on. Come on. Oh. It's not a bad technique though. Oh. oh. That one was a bit low. It's not a bad He's technique. He's got cheeks of steel. On the cannon. Come on. Oh, oh the bomb. Don't fall now. He's through though. Great technique, great style. Yes. Experience. A spanking good run that. Oh, he's gonna go so fast. Watch and learn. He looks a bit stiff. Oh, oh, he's oh, going. He's, speed he's going. Oh, oh nearly good moves effort. Off the net. Freaks, they're very happy. Most of the contestants gone, including my top hit. If you can keep your balance, Mr. Kieran Belly. Oh, speed is your answer. Bye bye. Only two contestants and their fans. Through to the final showdown. Only two left, okay? Just two of them. It's going to be lonely out there when the Emerald Guard start firing I'm going for their blue. lasers. Experience. General Lee leading the charge. What is this? Into the thick of battle. The Emerald Guard. This is going to be easy peasy, lemon squeezy. The Red Baron and the Emerald Guards firing the lasers. If he hit the sensor on our contestants, Dinky Dodgems, our contestants are out of the game. Okay. I get the feeling that it's only a matter of time. The Red Baron flying in the sky there, dropping bombs on our contestants. Laser guided missiles screaming down. May the force be with our contestants. General Lee just shot the Emerald Guard there. Great shot from the General. Oh, and another, another Emerald Guard has gone down. Another Emerald Guard. The contestants fighting on very well. Finally, could we have a winner on Takeshi's Castle? I'm a bit confused how this one works. Oh, we've lost one. But we've got no! one contestant still up and running. Experience Blue Man. General Lee has gone. The last contestant now bravely battling on. And it's over. No winners this time. But maybe next time. On Takeshi's Castle. I mean, that was a bit of a lackluster ending compared to the rest of it, I think. Um, right, give me a second. Let me get my thoughts together, and then I'll give you my thoughts. Well, that definitely brought back a lot of memories there. Um, yes, yeah, so that, that final uh, game, um, I didn't quite understand what the aim of it was, because you had the two final guys in these... Uh, with gun ship things with a number of the, the ones behind them they were trying to get them you had the plane one above then you had the general lee one i was just very confused and i think that this is the problem that you get when you take a game show well any kind of show in reality which obviously is uh, presented in a language other than you know the the, the viewers uh, language so even if it was say it was an English one but it was being shown in Japan for example uh, and the people there didn't speak English you know you've got to rely on the presenter being able to communicate exactly what's going on and I didn't feel that in that final one Craig was able to really explain it in the best way realistically um the other stuff i, I think he did he did explain and 
they were kind of self-explanatory as well to an extent. Just that last one just left me a, um, a little bit confused with that one. But yeah, this is definitely the show that I do kind of vaguely remember watching when I was a kid. And I kind of enjoyed it back then. And I enjoyed it now, you know, re-watching this, you know, probably 20 odd years later. Um, it is definitely clear this has inspired a lot of other TV shows and also video games and probably other media as well. Uh, like obviously, I mentioned in the reaction that I mentioned about Fall Guys. Um, obviously, I know things like Total Wipeout. That's probably the biggest example. Um, but then you've got other kind of shows as, as well that do a, a similar kind of thing. So, yeah, I think that this show... I mean, th th there may be you know other shows that came before Takeshi's Castle. And Takeshi's Castle technically ripped off uh, you know whatever that earlier one was. But I think Takeshi's Castle, at the very least has to be considered an early pioneer and an early influencer in the modern versions of similar types of media. But what are your thoughts to Takeshi's Castle? Um, I enjoyed it. I hope you did too. Again, thank you so much to Katakira for uh, recommending this to you. Like I said, on Tuesdays, I like to do a throwback Tuesday where I react to things that you guys suggest to me. And like I said, it can be... Uh, a TV show, it could be a series of TV show, it could be a little clip of something, whatever it is. If you think that is something that I will enjoy, then drop it in the comments down below. It doesn't matter what it is, and if I like the sound of it, I will consider looking at it and reacting to it. But that's going to do it for today. My name's Kevin. I am a geek, and you've been watching Kevin the Geek. Goodbye.